Savvy agencies use their LinkedIn page to build trust by producing relevant, high-quality content. Top agencies also apply the same strategy and use LinkedIn to boost their clients' businesses. Whether you're promoting awareness for your client's brand or boosting credibility among peers, you need to measure success. How else would you know if you're going in the right direction? Out of all the metrics available in LinkedIn, which one do you need to keep an eye on? Hi agencies, Clarence here back with more agency advice. In this video, we'll go over the top 5 LinkedIn metrics your agency should track. We'll focus on insights from these critical metrics and what your agency should do about it. Before we proceed, if you like this video, click on the like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notified for more digital marketing tips for agencies. Let's start with number 1. Impressions There are a couple of insights your agency can uncover from looking at impressions. Identify the days when your client's LinkedIn posts are seen most often. Use this data to refine your posting schedule to ensure that your client's audience are receiving content when they are most likely to view it. Determine which organic posts are resonating with your existing followers. Use this data to determine specific posts and topics you should sponsor to broaden your client's follower base. Viewing impressions over time help you visualize the trajectory of your client's marketing campaigns. Seeing a downward trend in impressions, this could mean your client's content is not compelling and LinkedIn is serving it to fewer followers. A high number of impressions doesn't mean you've got a winning post, but it is a great indicator. There are other metrics to consider. Which brings us to number two, click-through rate. All too often, clients obsess over how many clicks their content are receiving, but it's the click-through rate that provides your agency with real insights regarding how relevant and engaging your client's posts are. A high click-through rate means a high percentage of people who saw your client's post are clicking your content and going to your client's site. This means your client's LinkedIn posts, both image and copy, are effective and that their target audience is willing to take action. Monitoring click-through rate will make you aware of underperforming posts and signal you to act. At number three, how do you do three with your hand? Number three, we have engagement rate. Are people interested in what your client's posts have to say? A high engagement rate usually means that your client's posts are reaching the right audience. Create more of these kind of posts knowing that it has a higher chance of being served to your client's target audience. This metric can also help with experimenting with different formats of content. Figure out which ones work well with your client's audience. Next, at number four, is follower demographics. Connect the dots between the audience that you're reaching and your client's target market. Understand who your client content reaches. What role do they play within an organization? Are they decision makers? Where are they located? Use this data to determine if your client's content is reaching the right type of audience. Is your current strategy reaching your target demographic? Double down if it does. Are your client's posts not reaching the right people? Don't be afraid to pivot your client's content to suit their target demographic. When combined with click-through rate and engagement rate, you can clearly determine who loves your client's content. Craft updates just for them. Last but not the least, at number 5, we have followers. The chance of your client's target audience seeing their posts in their feed increases if they follow your client's page. It's a no-brainer to try to increase total followers. Having a high total number of followers also implies strong brand credibility. Keep an eye on which posts generate new followers for your client's page. This creates a feedback loop allowing you to improve effectiveness of your client's content marketing. Post more of the type of content that's historically gained new followers. Knowing which LinkedIn metrics to track is just half the battle. Armed with these tips, you should be able to decipher these data and make informed decisions to steer the ship, or rather, your LinkedIn content in the right direction. What do you think? Did we miss any LinkedIn metrics that we should keep an eye on? We would love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments. Want to know more? Check the description for a link to our blog post that dives deeper into which LinkedIn metrics you should track. Until then, see you in the next one.